What up, y'all? I'm actually out here trying to catch some perch today. I'm gonna try to catch some Rio Grande cichlids, some goggle eye, some bluegill. Rio Grande cichlids are invasive to Louisiana. They're the only native species to the United States that's a cichlid. But unfortunately, it's not one to Louisiana, so by Louisiana law, you gotta catch them and throw them on the bank if you do catch them so they don't spread, which they've already been here since 1996. That was the first recorded document of the fish being in local waters. So the way I usually catch these things, I use night crawlers with a long shank, tiny worm hook with a BV weight to a little cork, probably about a foot, foot and a half, depending on the water depth. And that's what I usually do. Let me quit talking and let's get to fishing. One of the things I like to use, especially when it comes to perch or sockle or anything like that, sometimes when you're using dead bait or live bait, they suck it down so far. I like to use that long shank on the hooks. So, number one, you got it leveraged where you can pull the hook out. You use a long hook like that so you can get the hook out. Pretty, pretty red on that fish. I wasn't catching anything of any size on this side, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to change it up. I moved over here where I know they got some real Grande cichlids. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna work this little area, see if I can get any to bite. All right, there we go. I actually seen him eat it. So this is a real Grande cichlid right here. See him? Got three big tails in the back. Gives him nothing but power. Got the pretty little turquoise or teal color on him. He looks like he's got some kind of little, little thing on him like that, but big one though, I got to watch him eat it. There we go. Got another one. This one's got some of the wildest colors I ever seen on him. This one's got some of the wildest colors. He's straight black on the bottom. Crazy looking. All right, there we go. Got one of the bigger ones. See this really, really pretty fish. And I guess they were aquarium fish at one point in time. These are some of the worst fish to be invasive because they can handle a high salinity. Got another one. Another one. There we go. Got a good one. Big one. I don't have small hands, but he's just as big as my hand. So what I'm seeing is from the way that they're acting, is that they're really aggressive to anything. And I see all these little pockets and stuff like that. I think they're all spawning right now. Because I see a lot of fish just running off. And then when it sits there for a while, they get agitated. Boom. Out of all the years I've been catching these fish, they got some of the craziest colorations on today. Some of their fins are messed up too. I'm pretty sure that they're spawning right now. So, I mean, as soon as I get it within like that little bed area, they are coming hunted down. All right, y'all. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe, make sure to drop a like, drop a comment if you want to know anything. I got a lot of cool stuff coming up, a really big surprise coming up. I'm talking about really big. That's going to be coming up in like a month or so. Who knows? It depends on when I go for it and everything. But y'all stay tuned and I'm going to catch y'all next time. Later. So this. Oh, He's got... Can't fucking stand up in this motherfucker.